Aloha, my name is Tarla Wall and I'm the executive director and co-founder of the Rainier Valley Midwives. Our organization started about six years ago, just right around the corner here on MLK and Graham at the old Speedy Mart. Um, it took us a long time to grow. We're just a small organization and we kind of look like these little kitty cats. But when we look in the mirror and we see ourselves, we are fierce lionesses. A little overview of the Rainier Valley Midwives is we offer a birth bundle project, we offer lactation lounges, and we also offer supportive pregnancy or group prenatal care for our families. I want you to meet our team. We are a diverse, beautiful group of many different folks from all over the world. We work with midwives, doctors, physicians, um, birth doulas, postpartum doulas, lactation support, social workers, and many of the different partners around the, the community to provide excellent care for our families. So what is the birth bundle? Well, that's kind of our key signature here at Rainier Valley Midwives. We believe that the pregnant person is the center to all of our care. So we center the woman in a way where they have full support all the way around their all around them for their pregnancy. It's led by the midwife. So our midwife and our, and our mama, they talk and they decide where they wanna have their birth. So they birth at either the birth center, at home, or at the hospital. And to be honest, a lot of our families really want to, to deliver at the hospital. So what we did was we found an easy path to the hospital. So we partnered with physicians at Swedish Cherry Hill and their residents come into clinic and they meet their clients here in our neighborhood. And then anyone who wants to deliver with our families can um, have a birth doula, a postpartum doula, a lactation support person that will actually help them with their breastfeeding plan and their feeding plan. And then finally, we have mental health services and social support services to help them to round out the types of ser services that we found that many families need when they have a new baby. So let me tell you a little bit about our first birth bundle baby. That is right here is baby Khalid. His mama um, really wanted a home birth, but in this situation of being a black and brown communities, she, she really wasn't appropriate for an out of hospital birth. And so we needed to team up with one of the physicians in the area um, and help monitor her care through, um, through this birth bundle process. And so this little baby decided that he, he was ready to come out. So he came, he started contractions around 33 weeks and the midwife went, took the mom to the doctor and together, the midwife, the mom, and the doctor created a plan of care to help this baby who's going into preterm labor. So they admitted the baby, or they admitted the mom around um, 33 weeks, and she was in the hospital for seven days. And it just, by the seventh day, this baby was ready to come out. The placenta had done its job. And so we had a new baby coming early. So we planned this C-section and what was really interesting with this birth bundle project, the midwife was able to be there for the mom to help and she was their doula. They sent a lot of different care to help as they did this, this transition from home to hospital. And so this little baby um, came at 34 and four weeks and we planned for worst case scenario just in case he needed to go to a higher level care and he did. He ended up getting transferred by ambulance to another hospital and the midwife went with the baby. The doctor took care of the mom and made sure the mom could heal. Um, and then afterwards, the midwives prepared um, lactation support, postpartum doulas, family members to help support this mom and this little baby um, throughout the recovery process. I share this story because that's my little baby. And I received such excellent care from these, from the midwives and from the doulas, and especially from the doctors. 
and we have a healthy little boy now and I'm so grateful for for this thought process of how to how to hold and center people because they are their best they know their bodies best and they know what's best for their families and for their baby. And I feel like if we can give all families opportunities to have healthy, safe birth, where they feel listened to, they feel part of the process, they feel like they're making that decision, then we are going to improve the outcomes here in South Seattle. It's been a complete honor to be here to share the story of the Rainier Valley Midwives to share a little bit about my story and my love for this work. So I wanna leave with you a little bit of some uh, self-care practices that you can do at home if you have children or if you have a little baby or you're growing a little one. Um, take some time to get out physically, have some exercise, uh, walk, swim, and then emotionally, Take some time to laugh, talk to a friend, um, have some self-compassion for yourself. And then socially, get out there, you know, I know we're all under quarantine and social distancing, but find some ways to connect socially with your family and friends. And then finally, spiritually, take a little bit of time to reflect and to uh, meditate and just be quiet for a little bit and really help yourself heal from within. So I can tell you a little bit why, why women are choosing midwives. The story that I hear a lot from our families is that they're not being listened to in the hospital and they're not being listened to by, by their other providers. They come to us because somebody actually takes time to be with them. So each one of our appointments are an hour long we get to know you as a person. We get to know your, your children. And the, oftentimes we'll have the little ones with the Doppler listening to the heart rate, or sometimes we'll have you know, home visits. We know your dog, <laughs> we know your husband or your partner. And we really take that 40 weeks of pregnancy to get to know you. Because here's the thing with birth. It requires so much trust. You have to have trust in yourself. You have to trust yourself that you can grow a healthy baby, that you could have a healthy body. You have to trust yourself that you can deliver this baby. And if you're gonna choose out of hospital, then you're delivering this baby without medication. And there's other ways that we use to um, you know, help with pain management but really you have to learn to trust yourself from within to get through that. And so that relationship that you build with our midwives is takes 40 weeks and it takes months. And then in that time, as you learn to build trust within yourself, you're gonna to start to trust your provider. And when your provider, your midwife says, hey, let's cut out sugar till the end of your pregnancy let's cut out bread or rice you know and let's try to grow a healthy size baby you trust her and you trust the midwife and you're and you're gonna start to do those things and then this relationship of trust ends with this beautiful birth experience and sometimes giving birth is one of the hardest moments of a person's life and there's a lot that you have to let go. You have to let go of the ideas that you had in your head. You have to let go of the idea of pain and what you can handle. And then you have to look at that midwife who's with you. And when she says, you got this, you really got this. And when she says, you can do this, you can do it. And our midwives, what I love is this morning we had a baby and our midwife texted the whole group and said, you guys, we need your support. Please send good vibes because we're pushing. And all of us, they got on WhatsApp and we're like, you got this, you can do it. We have our little gifts of you can push it. <laughs> and it was just amazing. And then we get a 10 minutes later, we get an announcement, baby boy is born. And it's just so beautiful. You are not alone in this. We are here with you. And that's something that is very hard to find. 
that you're supported by a whole team of people. So after the baby's born, um, it can it can be a little shocking because for so long you you spent your whole pregnancy with all your family so excited. They they threw you a baby shower. They gave you gifts and they gave you a crib and clothes and a stroller, but nobody gave you a manual on how to actually help this baby. And so in the middle of the night, when your baby is not gonna latch and they start crying and then you start crying and then your partner starts crying because they don't know what to do. They wanna grab a bottle and they wanna grab formula and you have to just keep going. Well, that's when we decided we need to help support moms after baby's born. So we have postpartum support. They're called doulas. And the postpartum doulas will come to your home. Like they help with the practical stuff. So they'll teach you how to set up a changing station, how to create a system for pumping and getting all your lactation supplies ready. They'll show you how to organize your closet and they spend time with you to help you process through some of these big questions of how do I get my baby to stop crying? <laughs> and you have somebody there that is on call for you and who can come or you can call them in the middle of the night um, or they'll, they'll spend the night with you during that time when it's so hard. The other thing that we do for postpartum is we really um, help you prepare how you're going to feed your baby. So we have a lactation specialist who will come to your home or, or come to your uh, visit before you deliver and they and they talk you through a plan to feed your baby. Um, we have families that choose to breastfeed, choose to chest feed, or they choose to bottle feed. And so what we do is we go through all the different scenarios show you get you all the supplies that you need before baby comes we try to get pumps to everybody before the baby is delivered um, and then come up with a plan and then we have a planned visit at day three with the lactation support person so that person comes i don't know if you know the magic number of day three but that's right before the milk comes in and this is when your baby starts to look and feel so hungry and what happens on the mom's side is all these hormones come through your body and it's the, the lactation hormones start to come through your body and you go through a whole nother wave or surge of emotion that is really difficult to manage. And so to have a lactation support come at that time when your milk is coming through, your hormones are, are at its highest, your baby is crying <laughs> and to help you through that moment. And we all forget about it, like we have more kids and then we remember, oh, this is day three. It's kind of like teething. We're like, oh yeah, we forget about teething until the teeth start to come in and we're like, it really is that bad. <laughs> and so having support, having friends to be able to call on is really important. Um, another thing that we do is we have group prenatal care. We call it supportive pregnancy care. We have an open every Saturday, the third Saturday of the month. Uh, women can join right now a Zoom call. As soon as you know restrictions are lifted, we'll meet in person with food. But <laughs> for now, we meet on Zoom, and it's this support network that you have within the clinic of other pregnant people. So you start to you know grow. You grow your babies together. And then what we're finding is they also want it after baby's born <laughs> to be able to come back together and have a system of friends and community to, to call on. And so it's been really interesting, really, um, really fun to watch this organic process of these women um, and pregnant families building their own community. If you're newly pregnant and wondering, what can I do? Where do I start? How does this happen? Um, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Really listen to your body. Your body, your nose, your eyes is all gonna be heightened in pregnancy. And so your body is going to tell you when you don't feel okay. Your nose is gonna smell something that doesn't normally you would eat and then you smell this and it just doesn't 
you can't eat it. And so follow your body, follow what your, what your body's trying to tell you. This is really what trusting your own instincts and trusting your body. Your pregnancy is gonna teach you so much about yourself. And you know, sometimes I think this might be God's plan that it takes 40 weeks to grow a baby because that's how long moms need to get ready for their baby. Um, and so you have to take time to trust yourself, trust your instincts, look at everything that you see. If something doesn't feel right in your body, do a head to toe, feel everything in your body. What doesn't feel right? Is it my wrist? And then start listening to like, what is so different? Smell, taste, use all of your senses and learn to trust yourself. We are here for the community. We are here to heal. And we're here to help all of you know that you are not alone in this work. Have a good day and aloha.